her church. They don't really wear hats in her church, but she wears a hat all the time Amen. in honor of our mother. Yes. All right. Because our mother could wear a hat. Right. <laughs> Amen. You know, and that's why I, I, I try to copy her. I get mine, I get in the mirror, and I, 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 I bend it. Right. I might flip it up. All right. Amen. Amen. You, know, you know how we do. You know how we do. As I, as I look out in the audience, you know, we, we all have it on that, that certain way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That certain way. You get in the mirror, you do. You make sure it's just right. And that's how we have to do with that wisdom. Yes. We have to put that wisdom on. Yes. And how do we put that wisdom on? It's in the word of God. Yes. All right. The wisdom yes. is in the word of God. Yes. So we don't have to we don't have to go looking here and there for it. All right. Yes. We don't have to go to Sally and yes. Sue and Miss Miss uh, Palmer. All right. Now. We, don't have to, right now. we don't have to call the 800 number <laughs> right. and tell the wisdom. It's in the book. <laughs> Yes, yes. It's in the book. Yeah. The book and prayer. Yeah. The book and prayer. Mm -hmm. Open up the book. Pray and ask the Lord to open up his word to you. Yeah. And he'll do it. Yeah. How many times do you read the same scripture a different time and you get a different piece of wisdom from it? Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's that Holy Spirit giving you that wisdom. Amen. And that's what we have to do. That's what, that's what is going to carry us through this life. Mm -hmm. Is our wisdom. Yeah. We have to get some understanding mm -hmm. about how to tread through what we have to tread through. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so when we talk, when we talk about our crowns and we wear our crowns proudly. We need to wear our wisdom that same way. Amen. When we talk to people, you know, and always we don't have to say the Bible says. I'm, one of the one of the things that I've done in my life is, is I've been a counselor, and in uh, in my training, you know, they told us, uh, you know, you can't really talk about the Bible, but what you can say, because that's where the wisdom is, is in the Bible. What you can say is, you know what? There's a very old book yes. that says this, that says to love each other, yes. to love one another. Right. Right. You know, you can say, you know, a writer, you know, you could be talking about Paul, but you know, I read a writer who said this, yes. you know, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the yes. pulling down a stronghold. Amen. Amen. The writer said that. Amen? Amen. 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 So in this life, we use wisdom. Uh, in, in, in my <coughs> job, I, I, I am retired. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I uh, retired from the Postal Service uh, with several years. I won't, I won't tell you how many. But <laughs> 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 well, with several years of service, enough to retire. And um, I'm a student right now, and we're at Bible College. I'm, getting a doctoral in uh, intercessory prayer. Prayer is my thing. Mm -hmm. You know, life will drive you to prayer. Amen. You know, when you can't do anything about anything, All right. life will drive you to prayer. Yes, so so I am just studying prayer and learning how to, to do warfare prayer. Amen. Amen. Because that's what it's about in this day and time mm -hmm. is, is the warfare. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we, we in, in my job, um, you know, like I counseled, I did investigations, um, did some very interesting, interesting work. Um, one group of employees, every year in May, there is a National Day of Prayer. And uh, in this group, we, we, we asked them if they would give us a room. So during that day, in 24 hours, because at the post office, you know, it's a 24 hour operation in the, in the main plants. Um, so they, we wanted to have a room available so 24 hours a day on that day of prayer, people could come in and pray. And they let us do that for, for two or three years. But then they told us they couldn't give us the room anymore because this group, you know, was complaining and that group is complaining that, you know, we're bringing religion into a federal yes. workplace and, uh, and all of this. So we, we said, mm, okay, how do we get around that? Um, so they kind of they put us out of the building, really. But what we did, 
is we went across the street from the building. Mm -hmm. We got a banner that said National Day of Prayer. We put the banner up. And so, you know, everybody just went out there to pray. And do you know that that even, that was even better because people would pass by and see that banner, National Day of Prayer, and they would stop and pray with us. Amen. 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 So that's how you can use wisdom to get around the wiles of the enemy yeah. because he's going to put blocks up all the time. But the wisdom of God will help you to maneuver around and do what you need to do for the family of God. Because every one of us knows that you know, if you, even if you don't preach, if you don't play the piano, if you don't sing in the choir, if you don't read the scripture on the program, we all have a job. Amen. The Great Commission, that was for all of us, uh -huh. to go into the world yes. and spread the gospel. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need to pray, ask the, ask the Lord to help us, ask the Lord to give us opportunities. Yeah. And he will give us those opportunities. Amen. Yes, you. Amen. Amen. So what I want you to take today is that you wear a crown of wisdom, whether, whether it's visible or invisible. You wear a crown of wisdom, which is the word of God. You wear the full armor of God. And prayer is one of those weapons. So take that wisdom.